Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming back at you with another IL-2 Bodenplatte campaign. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to use Pat Wilson's campaign generator to create a Spitfire campaign. All right, so let me go ahead and switch the camera over to my second monitor. All right, and so this is Pat Wilson's campaign generator. We are gonna create a new campaign. Uh, it took a little while to get everything organized and to, I played one mission and everything worked pretty good except for the AI uh, basically flew until I ran out of gas and then it by using autopilot. So next time I'm gonna I learned I'm gonna probably do it on my own. Okay, so we got uh Royal Air Force. We're gonna call this just so we know what's going on. Spitfire sixty six. Okay, because that's the squadron we're gonna use. Create campaign. Does it not like that? Complete campaign data entry. Oh, here it is. Single player mode. Didn't select that yet. Now complete. There we go. Perfect. Player's name, we're going to call him Mr. Everything. Just so you know who I am. And then for some reason, you got to go next step. We're not going to do all maps. We're going to do Bowden Plot to map. Next step, we're going to start September 1st. That'd be fine. Next step, fighter. Yep. Next step, warrant officer. And next step, 66 squadron there we go let us go next step create campaign there we go and then this is the squadron roster that's my picture I could change it I don't think I can click on that there's a writing pad there's my awards Wish that's all I've got. The pilot's badge. Okay, let's go back. And this is the squadron right here. We got squadron leader Johnny Johnson. He's got a lot of victories. Okay, so we're gonna hit um simple configuration. We're gonna change the air density to medium. That's the only change you want to make. Everything else is going to be exactly the same. No, it's not. Advanced configuration. I come over here to target types. Nope, not, not target types. Fighter mission types. There we go. Balloon busting missions. I'm changing that to nothing. Axis balloon busting missions. We're going to change those to nothing. Uh, the patrol missions I'm going to bring down and scramble missions I'm going to bring up. There we go. And I'm going to accept that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click mission right here. It's going to tell me the mission. Oh, I'm all by myself. What is this? Perform reconnaissance 
near Deist photograph any troop concentrations or other items of interest. Am I going to have a camera? Let's check the briefing map. See, they throw all these waypoints in there. Don't need all that. What's this recon? There's a lot of recon right there. Must be all this right here I'm going to be reconning. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think the recon's a little high, don't you think? Altitude and meters. I don't know, maybe not. It sounds good. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, pilot selection. Now, by myself, I can drag some of the some of these other guys over there to improve or to enhance. You know, like, but I, I don't feel like I'm the squadron commander, so I shouldn't be doing that. So we're going to accept mission. It's going to give me a... I don't see it. Yeah, there it is. It's telling me that it's generating a mission. All right, so now I jump into IL-2. All right, and then we go to find the mission. And I've got Spitfire 66 Recon. Start it. Okay, and so there it looks like that's our uh, takeoff. This is our approach or climb to ingress. And then we start reconning over here. And then we come back. Is there a specific way that I am supposed to recon? Right, let me get this keyboard out of the way. Yep, and I am all by myself, so. Viceroy, leader, taking off. Out. Yeah, I'm Viceroy. I'm up. And now I'm going to fly to these waypoints, but effectively I'm not really going to fly to them. I'm going to autopilot to them. All right, so let's get a screenshot. This beautiful machine right here. Once I get done with this screenshot, what we'll do is uh, we'll fast forward to the objective 
and then we will um, see if I can recon or if there's some button I need to press. All right, let me go ahead and fast forward. Okay, let me take autopilot off of here. I th there is uh, some hostiles coming from my left. I think I'm going to um, circle to my right. There are some allies around here as well, somewhere. Oh, who are these guys? I'm probably not supposed to engage them. I'm probably supposed to just go on with my mission, but you know what? I'm going to engage them. It's, they look like uh, they're in formation. They're probably bombers. Let me... Part of my reconnaissance. Or maybe they're friendlies. A20s, they are bombers, but they're friendlies. Okay, let me get back to mission. So there are some hostels over there somewhere. But that's not the mission. All right, I'm gonna hit level flight. Bring my engine down to continuous, like a lower, there you go. And then what we'll do is we'll fast forward and I'll come back when I get ready to do some recon. I don't know what I'm supposed to be reporting or if there is even a command for that. So let me put this back in level flight and let me jump to the menu. I'll be back in just a second. Oh, I'm glad I came back in time. There's a hostel right behind me. Yeah, I didn't see any commands anywhere for like turning on a camera or anything like that for recording for recon or anything like that. So... JU-88. Okay. Okay, I'm gaining on the guy. I don't need to, like, overthrottle it. Oh, yeah. I'm getting close. I'm shooting these guys down. They're probably going to have tail gunners.
going for I'm going for a twofer. Okay, shooting back. Really? Come on now. He's dropping bombs. Got one of them. JU-88. Okay, remember that because I have to claim my kills when I get back. He's definitely burning up, but I can't leave him like that. Oh, I'm taking hits. Okay, phew. I mean, it's generally in the same direction that I'm doing my scouting, so... So, oh my gosh, I got some bullet holes. What about this other side? This other side looks good. Bunch of guys back there, but I think they're all friendlies.
I don't know how much ammo I've got left. Only machine. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, boom. There he goes. Two. What the heck is down there? Should I be shooting these guys? Or should I just get... I'm just flying over, doing recon. Low altitude recon. Fuel looks good. I don't look like I'm leaking anything. Check the map to kind of see a little bit where we're at. Oh no! I need to get back on track. Not get jumped by those four planes over there. Because I'm only down to machine guns. Flame coming out of my engines. Exhaust. It's, it's cool as hell. Okay, they're out of sight, out of mind, and all that jazz. And we're almost at the objective here. Okay, well, you're not going to want to see me just fly around. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, speed up time. And I'll get back to you when something changes. All right, guys, we are back. It looks like, uh, what is that, Antwerp is off to the right. So that's probably our airfield right there. So I'm a little high up right now. I'm just slowly lowering my altitude. Got holes in the wings, so I got to be careful with that. I don't know what kind of—I don't know if my flaps are going to work right or not. Uh, I guess we'll figure that out. Doing a little corkscrew action here, dropping my altitude.
All right, we're pretty close to 1,500 feet. My approach is supposed to be 500 feet, so. We're getting there. Fourteen hundred. Twelve hundred. Ruffman, oh my gosh. Okay, we are at seven hundred. One more circle. We should be able to land. I'm going to just go towards the objective, or toward the uh, waypoint there. Let's see what navigation lights look like on this thing. Boop, yep, they're on. This doesn't count as hitting the waypoint? Come on. What's my airspeed? Low. Okay, that's good. So, guess what? Gear and flaps. Doing good, I'm at 140. Gear down, are the gear, is the gear down? It says down, okay. That's me. I'm coming, coming in. Is that the clock? Took off at six, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Alright, that's pretty straight. <laughs> Send a landing 105, okay. I will, but not until I'm a little bit closer. This is still a little bit too far out. And then we'll see how the campaign generator 
works once we once we land. I haven't landed here ever. So it looks good. I'm off. I'm off center. It says descend at 105. Guess what? I'm at 140. 130 right now. <clears throat> because I don't want to hit the grass. You know what I mean? If I have to throttle up, I will. Come on, Mr. Everything. Land this thing. Land it properly. Come on. We're gradually dropping altitude, so that's good. Lined up, finally. Not even needing brakes. Count that as landing? Okay. Well, here we go. We're going to clear the runway. Finish the mission. So what do we get, guys? We got two JU-88s. There it is. Two planes. If I hover over, it doesn't say. Okay. Well, there is the events log. JU-88 destroyed. JU-88 destroyed. Alright, so this, that mission is done. So now we jump back into, let me get the other camera going. Get, we go into that, and then up here somewhere we, okay. It refreshed. Something to do with after action. Hang on. What are we doing here? It could be combat report. Let's click it see what happens. Yep. Continue with claims. There it is. Victories. Two. JU-88s. There we go. Submit. Start debrief. Debrief completed.
claim ju88 claim near deist near brogel or whatever however that works next page boom boom next uh, finished okay and now if you look down here it says mr everything one mission two victories all right so we're ready to do the next mission and we'll do that in the next video so everybody thanks for coming out and checking out uh my experiment with the uh pet wilson's campaign generator uh it's a little bit getting used to i've got a if you only got one monitor you're gonna have to like toggle back and forth but luckily i've got two monitors but still i have to toggle between the game and the generator and it is not really self-explanatory so you got to kind of experiment with it but after a couple of missions i figured it out all right guys i'll catch you in the next one